Here is your Golfer's Almanac for Thursday, June 1st, 2023. Today is the birthday of John Houston, born Johnny Ray Houston in Mount Vernon, Illinois in 1961. He played golf for the Auburn Tigers and turned pro in 1983. Houston has seven wins on the PGA Tour. His best finish at a major was tying for third in the 1990 Masters. Houston is a notoriously fast player. Commentator Gary McCord once said that Houston was the tour's fastest golfer with no one a close second. John, happy birthday. Also today is the birthday of Marissa Baina, born Marissa Isabel Baina in 1977 in Pereira, Colombia. She had an outstanding amateur career playing golf for the Wildcats at University of Arizona. She won the NCAA individual title in 1996 and then later that same year was runner-up in the U.S. Women's Amateur, losing to Kelly Keeney 2-1. Keeney was the defending U.S. Amateur champion at the time. Baina turned pro in 1998 and has one win on the LPGA Tour, the 2005 HSBC Women's Match Play Championship at Hamilton Farm Golf Club. Marissa, feliz cumpleaños. Today is the birthday of J.T. Poston, born James Tyree Poston in Hickory, North Carolina in 1993. Poston set the North Carolina High School Athletic Association tournament record with a 63. Poston played golf at Western Carolina University and won six times for the Catamounts. He turned pro in 2015 and has two wins on the PGA Tour. Happy birthday, JT. In 1953 on this day, how to Play Your Best Golf All the Time by Tarmi Armour and Herb Graffis was released. The book became a bestseller and was for many years the biggest selling book ever written on golf. On this day in 1975, Kathy Whitworth won her third LPGA championship at Pine Ridge Golf Club in Maryland, one stroke better than Sandra Haney. Whitworth won 88 times on the LPGA Tour, including six majors. Haney was runner-up to Whitworth 15 times over her career. On this day in 2008, Kenny Perry won the Memorial Tournament in Muirfield Village, Ohio for the third time. Five years earlier, on this same day in 2003, he won it for the second time. And the Memorial Tournament was the first tournament Perry won on the PGA Tour back in 1991. He won 14 times on the PGA Tour and then 10 times on the Champions Tour. Only Tiger Woods won the event more often with five wins. Host Jack Nicklaus won it twice along with Hale Irwin, Greg Norman, Tom Watson, and Patrick Cantlay. On this day in 2022, at the Greyhawk Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona, the University of Texas Longhorns won their fourth NCAA team championship. This was the second NCAA championship for coach John Fields. His first was back in 2012. Fields has been at Austin since 1998. And here's a quote today from Harvey Penick about Tommy Armour. Tommy Armour had a big bearing on my life and teaching. I have used much of his wisdom, teaching, and his playing. That's it for today in golf history. Play fast, repair all the pitch marks you can find, and keep your golf ball in the short grass. Your Golfer's Almanac is a Golf Tunes production. It's written, produced, and narrated by me, Michael Duranko. I invite you to check out our original golf illustrations and the humor essays that accompany each of the golf cartoons. Tour Backspin is a weekly golf history newsletter that celebrates the PGA Tour in the 1960s and 70s with tie-ins to today's tour. They offer a bunch of content, contests, and other interesting bits. See the link in the show notes and subscribe.